servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated onto the gospel of God, which he had promised before by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David, according to the flesh, and declared to be the Son of God, his Son, according to the Spirit of hope and the resurrection from the dead, by whom we receive grace and accomplishment for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name, among whom are you also the call of Jesus Christ. To all of us be in Rome, you love this God, called to be saved, grace to you, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for you all, that your faith is spoken of throughout all the world. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of the Son. And without ceasing, I make mention of you always in my prayer, making requests which by any means now at length I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come to you. For I long to see you, that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift to the end that you might be established. That is, that I might be comforted together with you by the mutual faith both of you and me. Now I would not have you ignorant, brother, and oftentimes I have purposed to come to you, but was hindered that I might have some fruit among you. Also, even as among the Gentiles, I am a debtor, both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So as much as it is I'm ready to preach the gospel to you, which are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God on the salvation to everyone that believes. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, it is the power of God on the salvation to everyone that believes, to the Jew first, but also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has showed it to them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and God, so that they are without excuse. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were they, but became vain in their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like unto corruption and to birds and four footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to unfruitfulness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worship and serve the creature more than the creator, which is blessed forever. For this cause, God gave them up to vile affection. For even their women did change the natural use to that which is against me. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, Firm in their lust, one for another. Men with men, serving that which is unseen, and receiving in themselves the reward of their error, which was due. And even 
as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiting, haters of God, displacement, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural love, unforgiving, unmerciful, who, knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, do not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. There was a man of the Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus at night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Truly, truly, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he goes? Can he for the second time into his mother's womb and be born? He that answered, True, truly I say unto you, except a man is born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I said unto you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from or where it goes. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said to him, Are you the teacher of Israel? And you don't know these things. Truly, truly, I say unto you, we speak what we do know, and testify to what we have seen, and you expect not our way. If I told you of earthly things, and you believe not, how shall you believe? If I tell you of heavenly things, and no man has ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believes on him is not condemned, but he that believes not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that does evil hates the light, neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he that does the truth comes to the light, that his deeds might be manifest, so he has a drop of God. Uh, 